ChatGPT, an artificial intelligence driven chatbot, continues to make headlines. Days after passing an MBA exam given by a Wharton professor in the US and clearing a law school test, the latest incident where the AI driven chatbot has made headlines is during a court hearing. It's making its presence felt inside the courtroom as well. A Colombian judge has startled people by admitting that he used chat GPT to aid his decision making when deciding whether an autistic child's insurance should cover all of the costs of the medical treatment. The judge in question is Judge Juan Manuel Padilla. And in his decision, he concluded that the entirety of the child's medical expenses and transport costs should be paid by his medical plan. However, the ruling was not the issue. The conversations Judge Padilla had with Chad GPT while making the decision created a stir. The legal documents showed the judge asking Chad GPT the precise legal matter at hand. Is an autistic minor exonerated from paying fees for their therapies? And Chad GPT's response corresponded with the judge's final decision. Yes. This is correct. According to the regulations in Colombia, minors diagnosed with autism are exempt from paying fees for their therapies. And when this became public, it gave rise to a discussion about the use of artificial intelligence and Padilla's peers criticized this move. However, the judge has defended his actions by suggesting that this could help the bloated legal system of Colombia. The judge says the aim was to bring efficiency and improve response times rather than aiming to replace judges altogether. But let me ask you this. Do you think that justice provided by using artificial intelligence is the correct way forward? Should we become so dependent on technology and software that we are unable, unable to deduct, uh, deduct the problem at hand? Let me be absolutely clear, I am not questioning the advancement in technology, but the ethical aspects behind it. And before I go any further, let me give you a quick backgrounder about ChatGPT. ChatGPT is an AI-based chatbot that is developed by Microsoft-backed AI research startup OpenAI. This chatbot was released to the public in November 2022. It uses AI to generate streams of text from simple prompts. And since its debut, ChatGPT has gained a lot of traction due to its ability to process prompts and offer human-like answers. ChatGPT has been used to generate original essays, stories and song lyrics in response to user prompts. It has drafted research paper abstracts that fooled some scientists. It even recently passed law exams in four courses at the University of Minnesota, another exam at the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School of Business, and a U.S. medical licensing exam. And in the process, it has raised alarm among many educators. Public schools in New York City and Seattle, in fact, have already banned students and teachers from using ChatGPT on the district's networks and devices. Some educators are now moving with remarkable speed to rethink their assignments in response to ChatGPT. Due to its vast characteristics, where people from different walks of lives are using it for their own benefits, Moreover, for those who make use of artificial intelligence for unfair academic practices, the same technology now can be used to counter their efforts. And a tool regarding the same has been released by OpenAI, the company behind the sensational chat GPT board. They have released the tool designed to detect written works that are authored by artificial intelligence. The company in a blog post said that its detection tool has been trained to distinguish between text written by a human and text written by AI from a variety of providers. However, OpenAI has warned that its tool can make mistakes, particularly with texts containing fewer than 1,000 characters. According to reports, the company has recommended the use of this tool only with English text as it struggles to perform in other languages. And despite such issues that have been raised by educators and experts behind the use of ChatGPT, Microsoft has announced a new multi-billion dollar investment in the company. 
Microsoft will be increasing investments in the development and deployment of specialized supercomputing systems. In order to accelerate OpenAI's research, Microsoft will also deploy OpenAI's models across consumer and enterprise products and introduce new categories of digital experiences. Now that it seems that Microsoft is taking the lead in the race when it comes to artificial intelligence, and as the battle in AI technology heats up between Silicon Valley companies, according to media reports, Google co-founder Sergey Brin is getting hands-on again with software code after years of day-to-day -day absence. Reportedly, he was uh, brought back to Google by Sundar Pichai, who plans to soon add advanced AI features to its search engine after OpenAI's chat GPT raised a code red in the industry. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.